So I'm coming from, I have two scriptures. Well, not really two, but um, Isaiah 43, verse 18. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. But behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? In other message, um, other versions, it says, should you not perceive it? And that perceive speaks to a look. But it's different kind of look. It's more than looking. God is saying you're going to have to interpret what you're looking at. Because what you may not see it as new, but God is saying, I'm doing a new thing in the desert. I'm doing a new thing. I'm making rivers in the desert. I'm making a road in the wilderness. You have to be able to perceive God. And he said that in 2023, this is so critical because we're going to go into the year of restoration. And it's very significant that we begin to pray and ask God strategically how we should do this thing. He took me into the book of Samuel when David was in Ziglag. We know what happened. He was going to fight with the Philistines and they sent him away. And then he gets back home and everything is gone. The, the whole army is mad at him. They almost wanted to kill David, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. He prayed and asked God, shall I pursue? God said, yes. He then asked God, if I pursue, would you give them into my hands? God said, yes. David was very strategic in everything that he did. He saw the man on the road, and instead of being so filled with rage and anger and emotion, he fed him and got the information that he needed because he already knew he was going to win the war. So God said in 2023, this year is not about being emotional. It's not about being mad. It's not, you just got to perceive what God is doing in this season. He said, if you do not, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss God. And this time next year, you're going to cry some real tears. But I charge you guys today that you pray and ask God every single day what shall I do God shall I proceed shall I pursue will you give it to me God what shall I do he said I want to order your steps in this season you cannot go into the enemy's camp willy-nilly you need strategy and then the Lord said he's putting a demand on our gifts there's a demand on each and every one of our gifts because if you think about David, the story, I was reading it and it blessed my heart. The Philistines was robbing everybody, Judah, everybody. They took back the spoils because we know that David was the most skillful warrior at the time. He not only split the spoils with those in his camp, but he sent them to the elders of Judah. So God put a demand on David's gift that that same him sending the spoils out to them were the same elders that wanted to crown him king. So we got to be praying and knowing that God is going to demand us a little more in 2023. We got to prepare our mind. We got to prepare our spirit. And this year, he was working on our character and our integrity and being honest and being truthful and being forgiven. All of that mattered in this season. That's what God was doing. We cried some real tears, but he wanted to make sure that we were ready. Because after this zigzag experience, guess what, y'all? David crossed over. He said, we go into the enemy's camp and we going to take back what he stole from me. He said, sing that song. I'm going to the enemy's camp and I will take back what he stole, stole from me. me. Take back what he stole from me. Take back what he stole from me. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. He's under my feet. Hallelujah. That's all the words I got.